Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. Today, I want to start it off very simply with construction. I know it is a little bit weird, but in the last episode, we got 99 wood cutting, and in the process, I got a ton of mahogany logs. So it's only reasonable that I convert those into planks and then obviously go and train my construction a bit higher. I have a ton of money from the corrupted gauntlet and a lot of money from revs. So honestly, I should be able to get a ton of levels really, really easily. I started on 17 million i'll probably go down to like 10 million just making these but this is how i'm gonna do them so i go to my house look at for my butler there he is and then i just send mahogany logs to the thingy pay him the 40k fee and then i just go back to canifest because i think this is the closest bank and honestly i mean it's free right so i might as well do that that is 60 construction and 60 base stats and honestly i think this skill is gonna be insanely fast and we also reached level 2000 total and level what is it 65 construction nice make that 70 that is 80 honestly i don't even know how many planks i had i had like 600 maybe and it already got me from 55 to 80 so i feel like reaching 99 would be like really easy especially now that i'm slowly leveling up this fragment it's only tier 2 right now but when it's tier 3 i save a lot of planks i'll probably stop here for the time being but i can definitely see myself finishing this 99 very easily and there is 99 thieving completed i also got a little lucky and ended up getting four more enhanced teleport seeds obviously we do need a ton of crystal shards 1000 for the corrupted blade of Seldor tasks but then also extras to charge up our bow let's go ahead and trade amrod and we can throw away all of our enhanced crystal teleport seeds four of them should give me 600 and obviously if i do some corrupted and i ended up maybe getting another weapon seed which is not very likely but i mean i could get it that means i can instantly corrupt my blade of Seldor, and that would be an amazing task completed but i'm very happy to have another 99 completed on the account i think i'll do a little bit of corrupted gauntlet uh, right now and then i'll probably try and finish a bunch of construction xp that i've banked yesterday i currently have over 2500 mahogany planks to go through and i think that's probably gonna get me close to level 99 okay give me a weapon seat straight away and we are happy gamers let's go we got a crystal oh it's a bad one bro i had to <sighs> okay okay it's a, it's a shit one it's a shit one i thought about it i meant the other weapon seat not that weapon seat come on now okay okay here we go wait I just did it in under 5 minutes again and I wasn't even trying. Nice. Nothing too crazy. Dragon arrows, those maybe will be useful later on in the game. Perfect corrupted Honlef. Uh, I guess I didn't do a single mistake, that's kinda cool. I would assume that's what it means. And the uh, loot is... nothing. Okay. Yo, I got an attack level in the CG, we'll take it. Okay, here we go, this could be it, this could be it, come on now. Give me the thingy. That is not the thingy. We're not gonna talk about it. It's just, it's just not fair, is it? It is just not fair what just happened, actually. It's an absolute disaster. That That is considered an absolute disaster. I'll keep the maple log mills and I'll cherish them forever. The thing is, you guys don't realize, I intentionally didn't put my prayer up because I wanted it to kill itself because of reflection. And I got stacked by like 2020. Bro, look how long that time was. That was so slow. Here we go. Nothing. Okay, this could be it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good luck, me. Oh, that was a 501 as well. Crystal armor seed, yes. Nice, huge. Okay, I can make another piece right now. This is three out of six that we need. Let's just go make it immediately. I kind of want to, I kind of want to have it, you know? Crystal legs. I'm not going to get them back. Yes. Beautiful. Now we have crystal legs and crystal helmet. Okay, let's see. A back-to-back -back is the dream right now. Come on. That was a quick hunt left kill. Two halberds. Let's go again. Come on, game. Give me, like, the weapon seed, the good one. Uh, nope. 31kc already, though. Come on, now. This could be the one. Yes. Let's go, man. Let's go. Two more to go, and we're done with this place. Nah, right, here we go. Here we go. Back to back the dream. Coming right up. Come on. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. This is Corrupted Eldor right here. Let's go. Second enhanced crystal weapon seed. I'm a bit scared. I ain't gonna lie. Blade of Seldor, ladies and gentlemen. We can make it. I mean, I have Bofa. How do you corrupt this, though? I don't know how you corrupt this. But I'm just gonna... I, I, I'm gonna do a research first. I'm scared. All right, okay. I did my research. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna create this damn Blade of Seldor. And now I'm gonna do this again. And we're gonna corrupt it. Look at this. Blade of Seldor corrupted a thousand shards down the drain. Holy moly. But this weapon is a better whip for me. And if I wanna do any melee stuff, I have the full bandos. Bro, I got everything right now, so... Let's just go ahead and make this. God, wait, first, first of all, let me just wield it, just in case. It's not even a task. Okay, so boom, boom, and yep, it's gonna take 900. Oh, shit. There it is. Come on, boom. 250 points, man. 250 points for that one. That is insane. Bofa? 
obtained. Blade obtained. Now I just need two more crystal armor seeds to finish off the full crystal set. And then we can call it a quit here. We made a deal with the Twitch chat. We should color this bad boy. You know, 500k down the drain for a rich man like me. Not a problem at all. So let's go ahead and trade this. Apparently black is just the angle here. Uh, but there are the other colors as well. Look, 500k for some fashion scape. You already know we're taking it. Oh shit, 500k down. And now look at this. Use this on that. Recolor it. Ooh, it's kind the sick it's actually kind of sick i'm not even gonna lie okay let's go back to corrupted get quick two more uh, crystal armor seeds and then be done with this place forever watch me get a back to back to back right now come on a crystal armor seed let's go nope let's keep going right here we go here we go crystal armor seed nope I've been at the Corrupted Gauntlet for a hot minute right now, so we're gonna go ahead and move on and do something else. I'll definitely return to complete the full crystal, uh, probably even in this video, probably fairly soon, but uh, I wanna put this, uh, this sword to the test right now and just see how it goes. Our setup looks absolutely insane right now. If I can go rewards here and I get a Bandos book, I'm just gonna get all the other ones because I'll need them in the future. I will look like this right now. I have four Bandos pieces. Oh, Berserker Rig, I have that in the bank as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple of slayer tasks. I think I'll start off with gargoyles because I need to get the key for the grotesque guardians and also it's a nice little uh, task to test our strength. But yeah, this is the setup. The melee setup is insane. All I'm missing is infernal cave. I guess uh, we'll have to work towards that as well. First I need full crystal before I go for it though. There we go. Gargoyles. Get one of those. Can I auto unlock it? Gargoyles measure 120. Okay, we'll have to manually do it for a task, but it's okay. Hey, the first gargoyle defeated. I'm also gonna level up my actual relic. So so it should hopefully reach uh, tier 3 pretty soon. A very first superior. We're gonna test our no prayer method on him. No food. I'm most likely gonna die, but that's alright. Oh, attack level as well. Mid kill. Just gonna run through him every hit so I don't get barraged and we're fine. Okay, zeros. Noodling. Why is the other guy under him? There we go. First kill should be a task. Do we get anything good out of it? Some pure essence. We'll take it. We actually got it. Nice. Perfect. I only have 20 left on the task, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that because I'm kind of low on points. Uh, and then we can do the grotesque guardians sometimes in the future when I feel like it. I will attempt to do a little bit of fossil island wyverns and the reason for that is, well, my melee gear is insane, but also they can drop me fossils, which, you know, free XP. They can drop me like a DFS, but not really DFS. I don't really know what it's called. It's like a magic version of DFS. And also I'll be getting free prayer XP by out of burying bones. So it's like a win-win situation for me. Uh, we have 27 and I'm just gonna quickly do a couple of steps to make this process very, very fast. And also as you can see, the tasks are very small so I should also boost my slave points very very fast okay while we're here we're also gonna imbue our ring i forgot to do that so far so 650k 650,000 looks good a ring is now imbued beautiful stuff let's wear that i'm also gonna quickly get a magic cape because uh swapping your spell book with the system that's implemented in the game is extremely slow so i don't want to waste my time doing it instead we're just gonna grab a 99 cape from this guy over here i wonder if i get smoked without shield if i do there might be an angle where we do clue scrolls first while i'm here i might as well do it yoink 100k xp oh my god 52 40. That's like 92 damage. Oi, 50. Oi, 53, 53. Oi, oi, oi. These are nice, bro. You get prayer pots as well for free. I have twin strikes. I have knife set, so less HP, more damage. I heal up faster. I heal on hit. And I take way reduced damage. So that's gonna actually be insane. I can stay there forever. I'm not even gonna take food. I'm fully confident I can just be there forever. And then when the task is done, boom. Duradel is gonna give me the most amount of points. Obviously, I'm not getting bonus points because I left that relic out, um, but it doesn't really matter because I'll be doing this task so many times that I'll get points anyways. And then I just do this, Fossil Island Wyverns, boom, and we go right back at it. And there's one more thing we could do. Instead of taking uh, Duradel tasks, we can take Konar tasks because she can only assign them here. So that's what we're gonna do for all the future tasks. And yeah, this is already so much better, so much more chill, so much more AFK. We now have 83 Slayers, so we could go for Dragon boots but i want to stay here for a bit longer so let's try to test our theory oh it doesn't let me look looks like i need to speak to her first maybe you see connor won't respond till she's aware of you and your intentions let's go ahead and uh, visit her right now i guess i guess i just haven't been there yet okay let's take a look maybe if we speak to her now let's see fossil island wyverns 29 would i be able to npc contact her now i can okay so yeah all i had to do was just speak to her once Perfect. First ever uh, Brimi key. We'll take that. Let me just drop this. Nice. We'll, we'll be saving this. There we go. Make that a runeful helm. Thank you. And obviously a task. Look at it. 
Dragon Fruit Tree Seed. That's a huge task, I think. Ooh, look at that the magic seed as well, bro. This place is nice. All right, then. Our Pandosian Might is now fragment level 3, so we will deal even more damage, but also super close to 85 Slayer. As soon as we reach that, we're gonna start going for Abyssal Whips. Hey, there it is. 85 Slayer can now grind Abyssal Demons, but I'll first finish this task. For the time being, I'm just gonna go ahead and melee the Abyssal Demons simply because I don't wanna barrage them, and my melees are lacking behind a little bit, as you can see. So we're gonna work on 99 attack first, and then 99 defense right after that. That is Abyssal Demon defeated for 125 points. Fuck barraging, bro. We're fast as fuck with a melee. God damn. 53-63, bro. I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. Oh, I get my prayers back because I bury. I get like five prayer back every time I kill like a thing. Look, that's why I'm praying piety non-stop. I mean, I guess that that's fine. I guess. Yeah, like, I can just play Piety permanently and just have it on. And that's another one. And that's 96 attack. Dude, I'm speedrunning these demons. Already up to 87 Slayer. Still no sign of a whip. And obviously with the 87 Slayer, we can assign ourselves Kraken, and with Kraken we can get Trident, and with Trident we can speedrun Zolra, and it just unlocks so many tasks for us. However, first I'm getting a whip, because one thing at a time. Alright, first superior, 67,000, and we got a totem, and nothing else. Not bad. Hey, there it is. That is the 99 attack done. Now, defense to go, and we are on the superior demon as well. Okay, it exists. Look at the beautiful golden shine. Oh man, it's Marvelous. Okay, let's grab. I said marvelous in the last video as well. But there it is. The whip is obtained. 1, 2, 5 kill count. 77 to go. Honestly, I think I just finished the task. This is super chill. A lot of prayer XP. We're up to 85 already. Working on defense to 99 right now. And after this task is completed, I think we can even unlock Slayer Helmet, which is gonna be kind of a perfect timing. Slayer Helmet, we're gonna utilize that on Kraken, and uh, yeah, everything just kind of works right now. So pretty good. But let's finish the task. Maybe grab another whip. Why not? We can eventually make it into a Tentacle Whip, which is still worth than Blade of Seldor, so... Hey, Abyssal Demons. I like it. Well, I guess the game just wants me to get more whips, so that's the second one. We'll take it. I also got an Abyssal Head, which um, should be pretty rare, so thank you, game, I guess. We have exactly 400 points to work with. We can take my Malevolence Masquerade right here, and with that, we're gonna have an ability to have a Slayer Helm, which is gonna be super useful with our next activity, which is going to be Kraken. So let's go ahead and buy that, and also we are going to trade my boy Steve right now and just buy all the components for the Slayer Helmet. And all we gotta do is just use it on that, and there it is. Slayer Helm, it stays imbued because I had a black mask imbued, and our character looks like an absolute beast, would you look at that? Bro, all I'm missing is Infernal Cape, straight up. And War Blessing and Defender, but yeah. We look sick. So my gear for Kraken might seem a bit odd to someone, but I'm hitting these Monks of Zami right now in hopes of obtaining this, Zamorak pieces. So I still need- oh, well, there it is. Obtained both in two hits. And now if you look at the bonuses, all of a sudden you will realize I have four different Zamorak pieces. And if you take a look at my fragments, I am currently running a Zamorakian site, which will basically give me 50% increased magic accuracy when I wear four Zami items. And that goes up to 250% once I finally level it. So with this gear, I should be able to AFK the Kraken boss with Blood Barrage and just do it for as long as I want, really. I should drop to zero prayer because of my unholy wish. Wizard, so I'm just gonna head and do that right now. I also went ahead and bought 750 fishing explosive because you can use those to straight up summon the Kraken without the tentacles. And from here it is all about just AFK and Kraken and there is a task obviously to kill 750 of these so I can probably see myself spending quite a lot of time here. Now the goal from this boss is actually super simple. There are a few things that we want to get from here. First one Kraken tentacle amazing. Second one trident also amazing. Thirdly, uh, I can also obtain a fragment, which is the superior Slayer fragment that I've been looking forward to getting for a very long time. And I tried to get it from Bandos, but I wasn't successful. I tried to get it from all the God Wars bosses. I believe Kraken also drops it. So it's another one that we're looking for. And that's the first task completed. And we're just gonna stack up on the loot that I can stack up on. And we'll see how it goes. There we go. Full on AFK mode. Actually enjoying some League of Legends at the moment. You know, it's my first kind of a break. And this boss is perfect. You just click the fish 
finishing explosive on the Whirlpool and you kind of just fully AFK it. But there it is, the Trident of the Seasful, uh, a very first really good drop. There it is, us equipping it as well for 50 points. I don't know if it's better to just use Trident or probably just continue AFKing using Blood Barrage, honestly, because look, this is all I do and then I left click. And I leave this on my other monitor while I do whatever else that I do, whether it is editing, maybe playing a different game, just relaxing, and I'll have to do 750 of these at some point anyways, so I guess a tentacle left to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got a jar of dirt a little bit earlier. If I scroll up, you, you'll see I got it like 20 kills ago, but let's pretend we just got it. Uh, but I also got this unidentified fragment, and if this is what I've been hoping to get, which is the Superior Slayer one, I'll be very, very happy. No, but it is Divine Restoration, which is another one that I don't have yet. And if we quickly take a look into the lock section, we only have a couple missing. Obviously, the Thrall Damage, Superior Tracking, I think all of them I can get from here, actually. Profletchinal is uh, increasing when fletching bows, so you get it from fletching. Mixologist, I get it from making potions and uh, just drew it uh, when I'm cleaning herbs. So, honestly, uh, I think I can get all the fragments here. There it is. That's what we wanted. A Kraken Tentacle. KC141 and we got it. So, if I quickly go to Letia now or just, well, teleport out, no matter where. I think if I chuck that onto my whip and equip it, that should be a nice little task completed. And I can always return back to Kraken later on, but for now, I am just happy to have finished this. So if I quickly go ahead and grab my whip, and I add this onto it. It will consume it, I'm very well aware, and we wield it, and that's gonna be a big 1 to 5 as well. So I think with that one, that's basically the last thing I wanted to obtain today, so today was an amazing day. We got a Blade of Seldor, finished off the Kraken completely, almost fully finished, corrupted, not quite, I'm gonna go back in the next episode, gonna finish the full crystal, gonna work for Infernal Cape after that, and all sorts of things like that, but my gear right now looks absolutely insane. This is it, this is all I had in store for you guys for today. Today. I sincerely do hope you guys did enjoy and obviously if you did and if you haven't seen all the episodes I will leave the playlist in the description go ahead check it out watch from the beginning and also if you made it this far and for some reason you're still not subscribed consider subscribing it obviously helps me out and with that being said I'll do my very best to upload another video tomorrow so I'll see you guys then thank you once again for watching and have a good one bye bye